Well, welcome to the next edition of our Fetch Service Dogs blog. I know it's been a while. I'm so sorry I haven't uh, posted anything recently, but I have to tell you the uh, best news, um, an experience that we had that is just far incredible, that more than I ever expected. So, um, currently, uh, I'm, I'm home alone with the four kids. Uh, my husband is off uh, working the way he does, and uh, he's not at home, so I have to manage the four kids um, by myself. And on January 24th, something really very incredible happened. I mean, it was a shock for me, but uh, now that some time has passed, I can have a sense of gratitude now that I just didn't have before. So we went to uh, bed, you know, tucked all the kids in bed, um, you know, and I went to bed and everything seemed to be like a typical evening. I think it was like a, a Thursday night. I can't remember. It was a Thursday night. It was a school night, I remember. Um, and it was about 4 o'clock in the morning, and Sasha, the new dog that's in training uh, to be a service dog, well, she shocked me uh, this middle of the night, 4 a.m. thing. She woke me up. And uh, I, I was, uh, you know, getting a little upset because I thought that she just was wanting to go, you know, outside or just was bored and was waking me up. I didn't know. And, you know, she was just licking my face and waking me up, and I didn't know what was going on. And, and so I said, okay, Sasha, let's let's see what's going on. So I got up. I was awake now, so she rushed down the steps, zing, and right there in the middle of the living room floor, Aaron, our 13-year-old, the one with uh, cerebral palsy, he had been awake, and he got a stack of about 10 pieces of paper, and he lit a fire right there in the middle of our living room. Uh, and it was Sasha that smelled the fire and woke me up to come in and tell me to go take care of this, and she just, she just she was she went right to the spot where the fire was and um you know we took care of her and she you know sniffed and was circling the fire area and Aaron knew uh he did something wrong because as soon as I came down the steps he you know kind of ran off in another room and tried hiding from me and you know we had to talk to Aaron again about lighting fires but still you know if I didn't have the dog you know if Sasha wasn't around if Sasha wasn't around to wake me up and let me know there was a fire in the house. We all could have been sleeping and it just, you know, would have been fire. That That's it. That would have been it. Uh, so that's, that's why I like doing what I'm doing. I really see a need for that and uh, especially in, in the kind of person Aaron is. And uh, Sasha proved herself to me. Whenever she came to me and said that Aaron lit a fire, that was it. That was all she wrote. I knew this is definitely something Sasha will be good at doing. So, just wanted to share that uh, little testimony with you. Let everybody know, you know, where we're at with um, with the service dogs. Kobe's still in the house. We still have him, you know, working. Uh, he has his public access, you know, and Sasha ha does not have her public access, but she certainly does her job inside the home, and uh, we're real proud of her. And, Real thankful, real, real thankful that, you know, none of us were seriously hurt or that our home is still intact. We're really, really thankful. But, hey, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll try to keep you updated the best I can with our blogs and, and uh, how the dogs are doing and, and what we're doing. Um, we're still reaching out to people that need us. You know, they still call us, and, uh, uh, and uh, that's about it. So you all have a, a nice day. Bye-bye.